What's going on guys? Sam from website right here. Hope you're doing all right. And it's all about the child themes today. Uh, in WordPress's words, a child theme inherits the functionality of the parent theme. <laughs> yeah, I know. If you're not very technical, you're probably wondering what on earth is that all about? I'll try to explain in layman's terms. Say you've gone to the WordPress website and you've downloaded the theme as a zip file, or you've gone through your admin to the themes and downloaded and activated it, or maybe used Theme Forest and downloaded the theme. Once you upload your theme, however you do it via your FTP or control panel or through WordPress itself, You'll have your theme there, great. Now, if you want to make any changes, say to your like, footer.php file, make any code changes, or maybe have some hard-coded CSS, don't do it in your main theme, because quite often themes are updated. Developers always keep abreast of any security vulnerabilities that WordPress might have, or maybe some users have reported plugin conflicts. Either way, they'll update their theme, and when that auto-update happens, anything that you've done in the code will be lost and in the bin, which is not particularly great. So what you need to do is make your changes in a child theme. Now in your themes folder, in your file directory in WordPress, it runs adjacent as a sibling to your parent theme. And what you can do is basically say, if there are any files in this child theme, use them. If not, revert to whatever's in the parent theme. So as I say, maybe you've made changes in your footer.php file, you've got a separate file in your child theme, WordPress will look for that first. If, say, you've got it in there, great, it will use it. If there's no file, say WordPress is looking for header.php, there's nothing in there, it will revert to the, the actual parent theme. It just means whenever your theme's updated, nothing's gonna get ruined, okay? Um, I'm going to show you how to do it because it's not very difficult. I'm going to use a file manager plugin called StackCP for this. However, you could be using cPanel or Plesk or whatever. Either which way, I'm going to show you how to install one, how to get it all set up, but also how to rename your child theme as well as to maybe not give the game away to anyone who's looking at your source code who is trying to spot what theme you're using. Check this out. So for the purposes of this video, I'm actually using a website that I'm currently developing at the moment called Revolution Care. But what I did was I downloaded a theme from Theme Forest called Bridge, which is excellent, by the way. And as you can see, I've changed some of the content, but uh, obviously horse riding stuff isn't quite appropriate for care. So um, I'm slowly going through and changing content over at the moment. Uh, but yeah, this is using the bridge theme, which I really do recommend, actually. And if I log into the admin at the moment and go to the dashboard, we're going to go to the appearance and then themes. And you'll see that, yeah, I'm using the bridge theme, but we don't want to be using this because this is going to be updated all the time. And if I make any changes, all my changes will be lost. So I need to create what's called a child theme. So I'm going to navigate now to my files. And you can see here we've got a folder called bridge. So what I want to do is I'm going to call this theme file, the child theme, I'm going to call it revolution. Uh, so I'm going to click to add a new folder there. So let's just call it revolution and click OK. Now, what happens is when it's displayed within WordPress, it uses a file called screenshot.png to actually show the little thumbnail of the theme. So what I'm going to do is just grab the one already that's in the bridge folder at the moment, and then I'm going to copy it into the child theme. It doesn't actually really matter. However, it's just for aestheticness within the admin. So let's copy that, and I'm going to paste that into the child theme like so and then it's a case of creating two files one of them is a functions.php file and the other one is a file called styles.css so firstly let's create our functions.php file so that basically will take the functionality from the main theme and what we're going to do, once it's created a blank file, uh, we're going to paste in the following code here. Now, this is essentially just telling WordPress to use the functionality and the styles from the parent theme. So we're going to save that in. By the way, if you need this code, it's in the description for you. So do not worry. Uh, then I'm going to click save. 
And then once I close that off, I'm going to create a file called style.css. So uh, I'm going to create a new file. So call it style.css. That's what we need to call it. And of course, there's a blank file there and you need to then paste in the following code. But what we're going to do, we are going to make a few changes here. So the theme name is what it's going to be referred to within WordPress. So I'm going to call this Revolution Care, for example. Um, there's a theme URL and a description should you want to place it there. This is mainly for anyone that just looks in the WordPress theme folder. So if you're the webmaster, then maybe it's just going to be you. So it doesn't necessarily matter. Now, the template needs to be the folder name of your parent theme. So in my case, it is Bridge. But whatever your main theme is, make sure you put it there word for word. No spelling mistakes, capitalized exactly the same as it is. And then the text domain, that's just the folder that you're in at the moment. So this one is called Revolution. So there we go, that's what it looks like, and then we can click save. Now, quite often, child theme folders are named theme name dash child, but I've mixed it up because I don't really want people knowing what the main theme is. But if we actually now go to our WordPress admin and press refresh here, and as we can see, now we have reloaded the themes page on WordPress, our child theme is there, which is fantastic. So all we need to do is click activate, and what that will do, it will use the child theme, and it won't and it won't ruin how your website looks whatsoever because it's using the functionality of the parent theme. But any changes that you make, so say if you wanted to change anything in the footer, you should really do all your your CSS in WordPress in your customizer or in the theme options. But maybe you do want to do something and uh, have a look in the footer.php file and think, actually, um, we want to make some changes here. Um, I'm going to copy that now and paste it into my child theme. And that just means that when WordPress loads your website, it's going to look in this folder first and it will see that there's a footer.php there. It will ignore the one that's in your parent theme and use this one instead. But when your theme's updated, this one will be unaffected. So all your changes will still remain intact. So I really hope that helps you. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up and uh, drop a subscribe as well because all subscribers are very welcome. And if you need any help, do subscribe first and then ping me an email. If you're a subscriber, I'm more likely to help, to be fair. Anyway, all the best, and I can't wait to speak to you on the next video.